Oh, so where to begin? It has been a long time since I've done this, a long time since I've made a video, a vlog like this, where I'm talking to the camera and I'm not, you know, traveling around or anything like that. It's been a long time since I've tested out even speaking to the camera again, and luckily I finally have a mic, a new mic that works. My previous one, since I got this new Canon R6, it's been broken the whole time I've owned the new camera. Point is, that's all technical stuff, but I hadn't made a lot of videos because I just wasn't inspired to actually do it. I wasn't inspired to take the time out of my busy routine or take the time away from work or make the time because I haven't cared. So why didn't I care? Why don't I care? Why haven't I cared? This all kind of comes down to how not being able to travel changed me. And it changed me drastically. It's been, I don't know. Now it's June 27th when I'm filming this. In Michigan, pretty much all of the pandemic restrictions have been lifted. So we can live life again pretty normally. But for me, it's not about traveling in Michigan. It's not about seeing the places I've seen a hundred times that I love. And it's not about just traveling in the US either. Unfortunately for me, that just doesn't quite do it. There's something about international travel that once you've done it, and you've done it a lot and frequently, it's tough when that's taken away from you. It's really tough, actually. Especially when you've made friends from all these different countries that normally you catch up with by going to visit. You go travel to these places and stay with them, and then when they come to visit you, they stay with you and you show them around, and it's just, that doesn't really work as well over FaceTime or Zoom or whatever it is. It's tough to maintain those connections, and it's tough to feel as global as you once felt when you just can't be global. Let me uh, boost up this lighting a little bit here. Anyway, I'm sure a lot of this is just rambling, but the point is not being able to travel, not even having the ability to do it or the option really internationally is just, it's drained me creatively and in a really personal way that I hadn't expected. So my travel journey started back in, I think, 2016. It was between my junior and senior year of college at undergrad, and I went to go study abroad for a month in Athens, Greece. That was the first time that my eyes had been open to the world and to different perspectives and different people and different music and food, and that opened up Pandora's box, so to speak. It changed everything for me. After that, I couldn't get a job with my undergrad degree, so I ended up having to work in a cafe for basically a year, taking a gap year away from real work, and I just traveled. I went to Italy to hike for two weeks. I went to Ireland with my father to Galway. So all of that international travel eventually led me to live abroad for a year. I lived in Galway, Ireland. I studied at National University of Ireland, Galway. I made incredible friends, and it was an amazing experience. It changed me as a person. It made me better as a person. And I recorded that experience, I documented it in writing, and eventually I turned it into a book which I just recently published. So obviously that experience had a huge impact on me. It totally changed my worldview, it changed my perspective, the way I spoke, the way I moved throughout my environment. Everything about me to my core had changed. And international travel, it just, you see things differently when you look out, but you also see things very differently when you look inward as well. And you change and you grow and you shift to understand these cultures and to participate in them, not to be a tourist, but to be a traveler. And when you're a traveler, when you're genuinely invested in these other cultures and these people and you want to learn about them and try and respect their language or whatever it is, that's when the world opens up to you. And once the world opens up to you, you can't close that again. When it was closed, involuntarily, when we had no choice, and it still is, that's tough. Yeah, it's been very, very difficult. I miss my friends. I miss the people that I know overseas. I miss hearing different languages. I miss trying different foods or experiencing different things or going to a cafe and sitting and just listening to the culture around me and hearing people speak and all this old architecture or learning about a way of life that I had never even heard of before. I miss all of it. Those parts of life to me are the most invigorating. So, to say the least, being back home for the last two years, but the last year without international travel, year and a half almost, it's been incredibly difficult, it's been uninspiring, and it's taken a lot to regain passion in the things I love, like making these videos or making music or producing anything creatively. It's taken a toll on my ability to speak with other people, to engage with strangers, to talk to people I've never met before, to put myself in situations where I'm uncomfortable. These are all things that happen 
when you travel internationally. You have no choice but to be uncomfortable. You have no choice to ask strangers for directions or where the nearest restroom is or whatever. And when you're not challenged in that way because you're just surrounded by the familiar, you're surrounded by the comfortable, for me that makes life just a little less interesting and a little less inspiring. So I lose the drive that I've always had. So how has the inability to travel changed me? Not for the better, I can tell you that. It's been extremely hard, and I'm trying to find beauty in the familiar, in the everyday, in the place I grew up, my home state. I'm trying to find that beauty again in the friendships that I've had for a decade. This has been a challenge to ground myself in the current moment, no matter what's going on around me, and no matter how chained I am to this specific location. It's challenged me to push through all that and to continue to create, and thankfully, 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 I still have. I worked for three years on a book that I finally published in April. I have studio recorded two extremely professional songs that I'm so unbelievably proud of. I'm probably gonna go back and record two more. Earlier on in the year, I took some wonderful photographs that I love and I cherish. So even through all of it, I still managed to find some joy and some inspiration and some beauty in this life without traveling internationally. Nonetheless, I'm very ready for borders to open back up, I'm very ready to visit old friends whose faces I haven't seen in person in a long time. I'm very ready to grab a pint or a cup of coffee at a cafe with someone I've only known for three years, but I've only met them overseas. I'm ready for all of it. I'm ready to be uncomfortable, to challenge myself, to not know a language, but to try and learn it as best I can. I'm ready for all of it. So I'd love to give a huge shout out to an old acquaintance, an old friend, New Pope, he's the artist that created the song that I use in this video. He graciously let me use it for this, and I appreciate that. I love being able to support other creatives when I can, and when they support me in some way, that's awesome too. So blending this video with his music was an absolute honor, so thank you, New Pope. I appreciate it. I will link the song and his music down in the description below. Check it out. He's awesome. Let me know when you're down, when you're